Welcome to the CCFC Chanel. I'm your boy CCFC and I am so cool. Like unbelievably cool. It's like, watch this. I've had a coffee, that's why my tongue's brown. <laughs> We're doing A-League kits because I've had a couple comments and I'm I am low on ideas right now. First up we have Adelaide. It's not great. Okay, what came first? The kit or the McDonald's sponsor on the sleeve? Did McDonald's only sponsor them because they have McDonald's colours as their kit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't mind I'm gonna have to try and get over the sponsors because there's obviously gonna be way more sponsors than like a normal kit. It would be like criticizing uh a a Turkish kit for having too many sponsors. It'd be like criticizing a lower league South American team having too many sponsors. That's sort of the nature of the game. Do you need this bit on there? Have you not got Isuzu on the sleeve as well? Do you need double league placement? Mmm, I'm not so sure. I'm gonna give this kit a a free. A free. It's not great, is it? Their away kit, however. A bit nicer, you know, same spots as a bit annoying. It's a massive red essential uh, McDonald's sticker on it. But I like the little the little rhombus on the uh, sleeve detail. Um, it's got a nice little tricky little pattern throughout. It looks a bit like a like a lotto sort of logo, but it's obviously not lotto. It's you can. Yeah, I can. And it's pretty nice, simple, strong color, a bit like uh, the City Away kit, isn't it? It's sort of a similar shape and design. Australian Outdoor Living. I have an issue with that. Because that tends to be where the danger is in Australia. Living outside in Australia is like living indoors at Joseph Fritzl's house. I'm going to give this one a 6.8. Ooh, Brisbane Raw. Okay, now I don't really like the badge shape. That weirds me out. It's, a, it's a, The badge doesn't look lower league. Siri, oh, maybe Siri B. But the shape does. The crest does. Oh, new balance. I saw, I'm, I really, I'm a big fan of orange. Like a good orange. This isn't a Wolves orange. This is, once again, a good orange. I'm going to have to give it... Oh, it says Outcast. I'm, I'm going to assume they're sponsored by... The band, Outcast, and not something else. I'm going to give it an eight. Oh, the badge is really poor, though. I'm having a nice morning. I'll give it an eight. Fair play, Brisbane Raw. Now, they're away kit. It's pretty cool. What um, is it? I don't know if I like the stripes. I like the idea. I really like the collar and sleeves. They're doing big things to my jubblies in my pants. But I'm unsure about this stripey stripage. Does it need stripey stripage? Pinstripe, because it, it sort of looks like a basketball, a basketball, it sort of looks like a baseball jersey. You know what I mean? When, you, when you're adding these stripes in. I'm gonna give it a 7.2. Central Coast Marinas, Mariners. Maybe they marinate in bad performances, or good. I don't know about the uh, size of clubs in Australia. I assume they're not very good if this is a flat PNG rendering of their kit. I'm going to give this a, a... It's a four. It's a four. I don't like this. This looks like something you, you may put in your bottom. And then mate internet mobile with a love heart. That feels dated. That doesn't feel like, like that should be a current sponsor or company. Now the away kit PNG. Now this, it sort of looks like a hashtag kit, but hashtag kits are, are much nicer. I can imagine this, this, yeah, this feels a little bit better. I'm gonna give it a, a 4.8. Not amazing, it's just nothing to write home about, is it? You know, I'm not like, oh, cool, gorgeous. Just feels a bit boring. MacArthur FC, now this is a serious render. Look at that. Now my issue here is, the stripes aren't even, which always bothers me. And also, this colour scheme is like... It's like Notts County. And I'm not going to lie, Notts County. I really don't like that as a colour scheme. 
there's something about these three colors together which sound like it should be good white black and then like a gold Ooh, no no it just doesn't work for me i think it's really I think it's really ugly actually it's a two it's a 2.1 that shocked you haven't it hmm oh your avocado's falling out of your mouth you middle class bitch i actually love avocado macarthur away now 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 same color scheme but the distribution of the colors is next level i really like this paint splatter yeah i'm working class i've been working on the job look at me i'm i'm painting and hammering uh, a shelf into a wall i've put up one shelf in my life i'm gonna give it a 7.9 not the biggest fan of the badge sponsor looks gigantic and a bit crap but apart from that I, it's a commendable effort melbourne city now i know what you're gonna think oh he's gonna give this a high rating because they're part of the city group it says eddie had airways it's pretty much a city kit they even changed a badge to be mcfc and a circle like our badge <sighs> do you know nothing about me right i am so unbiased you know kit wise i'm just an honest man in life i'm reasonably honest and this is not good it's not good it's not i know you've got no more avocado in your mouth because you spit all of it out now spat all of it out now because i'm struggling to understand the gradient which is filled in at one point and then becomes non-filled and then it's like a bunch of squares i don't understand it and it doesn't really work i don't like the collar it doesn't really work with it i don't it's not nice the colour, though, glorious, shockingly. I'm going to give this one a five. Ooh, now the away kit. Pretty sure that feels like a Puma template, but a bit better. A bit better. I'll give it a 6.5. I think it's amazing. There's something about, I think, this template, which is a little bit annoying. I know it's, like, pretty much the city one, but there's something about this collar without the lines in it, which is a bit, it's a bit odd. Um, I wish it just sort of went around the back as well. But it doesn't. So it's a 6.5. Melbourne Victory. Now that is very presumptuous to have as your name. Bonza. With a thumbs up and seemingly only two fingernails. Either that or it's... Um, that's off. That is just... This is becoming degenerate on this channel. It's a Macron kit. With the Macron pointed... Oh, I don't... Do I like that? It's sort of... Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's it's down in the middle. And it sort of fits into the chevron. And it fits into the victory badge as well, which feels like it's just missing something in the middle there. It's got a text here and then just nothing here. It's a big old line. Um, oh, KFC. Oh, have they got rival? Rival fast food companies. You've got the McDonald's Ailey kits. And then you have the KFC a league kits that's funny that is very very funny that's up this this is obviously just a regen millwall kit however it does say kfc on the side so i'm gonna give it a whopping 6.2 i can't it's uh it's terrible oh they're away kit so inspiring i reckon this one flew off the shelves. I reckon the shelves are so empty. So empty for you. Just. Wow. Fascinating. What what kind of pink is that? Is it salmon pink? No. It's like. Oh, I've left a sock in with all the whites. Shit. This is the away kit. I'm giving this a one. It's actually really disappointed me. That is just dire. Newcastle Jets. Ooh. Okay. Seems odd to have fighter jets. As your, you know, sort of mascot. Jet, jets aren't that old in history. It feels a bit odd to sort of acknowledge that you're not old. You know what I mean? If you're a football team, you have to be old, really, to have any sort of degree of respect from anyone else. You've got three bloody fighter jets on your badge. And you're named after them. And also Newcastle United. Baffling. 
really quite baffling. But the kit itself is not a nice colour. But they've done the easiest things to have a nice kit at a reasonable level. And that's the collar like that, the sleeves like that with a line in it. Okay, that's the bare minimum of making a decent kit. Then they've got these other random graphics, which is just like, uh, who cares, right? You know what, you're called Newcastle Jets. You sh it should be you just committing some sort of war crime, all right, on the front of this shirt. Just commit to being a jet, okay? I'm going to give this a four. Four. Oh, now on the awake kit, we get to see what the pattern was in the other one. And yes, <laughs> it does look like complete shit. This is terrible. This is, uh, the sponsor's brutal on this one. All you have to do, actually, no, you know what? I like the badge in those colours, actually. I like that. But all you have to do is make this white or gold. And your job's a good'un. But it's not. Your job be a bad'un. This is a free. No, it's better than the other one. This is a, f a 4.5. I don't know what I gave you one. I forgot. Perf glory with the low, low resolution JPEG. Now, there is a man on here with a pickaxe. Now, Perf glory is a really bad American sounding name for a soccer club. However, a fucking pickaxe, mate. What looks like a cowboy with a pickaxe. It won't be a cowboy. I don't think they had cowboys in Australia. But I'm going to believe it's a cowboy. Just slightly like... like he's just chilling. A little bit wonky. Because he's just so cool. He's got that cool slant. Because he's just mining gold. And what I would imagine. Mining mad puss. I'm going to give Gold Valley, Perth Glory, a whopping. And you know, actually, I like the gradient. I sort of like what's going on here. I'm going to give it an 8. I reckon this could be an interesting one. Oh, the away kit. Pretty much the same, but I like that they've just they've just gone white but kept some of the colour in the pattern. Ooh, maybe it would have been better if it was all just white and shimmery and sort of grey as a pattern. I don't know. But this is good. I'm gonna give this also I'm gonna give it an 8.2. I think this might be better than the home one. Sydney FC Home. It looks like an old Tottenham kit. Probably because the under armour, but also the colouring. But they've done well with the colouring. There's no like horrible, it got orange in there. But that's like a little inside bit. That's fine. Oh, I'm going to have to give this a good, this is going to be good, this one. Odd that the pattern changes at the bottom. You've got one square, one square, and then like a triangle. And then it just goes all square. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm giving it the highest A-League kit so far. It's pretty impressive. That's not a normal nine, by the way. That's a nine based on what we've seen today so far. Um, but is he awake at a nine? It's pretty good. I, oh, I like it. I like the little red Isuzu popping out there, actually, as well. Oh, gives it a little bit of whammy. The university sponsor is always a classic. No horrible colours. And learning. That's, I'm pretty fond of learning, actually. That's pretty good. So I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give it a nine as well. No, these are these are two bloody solid kits, my friends. And look, it's got oh look, it's the Sydney Opera House, but to me it looks like the boat from the Man City badge. So Ooh, Wellington Phoenix. This is edgy. This feels like you've joined some sort of guild. Um oh, I didn't even see the paladin bit. That's a good sign of design language because i already thought all oh, like guild sort of merchant oh, mystical magical crap and then then looked at the paladin that's really good that's really good i'm gonna give this oh it's like a like a crazy burton albion uh, i'm gonna go 7.8 7.8 i don't know what spark is but that's a terrible logo i don't like it oh it's good it's good I like that they've left the only colour to the horribly red spots is on the side. It's... Oh, is it good? I feel like if I was wearing it now, I would fucking hate it. So I'm going to give it a six. But I think it could be funny down five aside. I am... I know it's a rendering. 
but I am deeply concerned about the size of this. Look at that. That is, that's dilated. 15 centimeters. Western Sydney Wanderers. Oh, this is like a, like a Nuremberg or a Fortuna Dusseldorf sort of away kit or something, or something like that. This is the most real looking European style kit that we have seen. A lot of the previous ones looked almost American, mainly American, or just crap. I like this, probably because it's Adidas and the rest have been just made up things. Oh, but the badge as well, the badge, this is, this feels like a really good badge. And then obviously Western Sydney Wanderers, an acceptable ending, not glory or victory. That'd be like me starting a team calling them London Winners. That's insane. You can't do that. That actually should be outlawed. I'm going to give this one a 9.8. I'm a big fan of the sideways stripes and uh, some solid colours and badge. I feel like this should be in Austria. That's where I'd, I'd guess for this one. The away kit is bad. It's really bad. This is really boring. This is... I know the previous one was, I guess, boring and simple, but pinstripes, I hate pinstripes. Let alone being like white and gold. It just something feels really cheap whilst trying not to be cheap about it. Because it's all white and gold and fancy. But it's not. Turner Freeman Lawyers. Yeah, lawyer up, bitch, because I'm suing you for being an ugly motherfucker. Western United. Can you just be called Western? I don't know. Forever West. You would imagine if you're Western United, you probably will be Forever West. Well, I'm sort of fond of this. Okay, I'm hoping the fit doesn't feel like how it would in this photo, but it's Kappa. The di I've never seen like a digital, you know, stripe set before. I'm sort of here for it. I sort of wish this was digital as well. Or if they actually just only had it on the middle of the kit and then over the shoulders, it was just all black or maybe all the green. That I feel like may have been better. But for now, it's a solid... 7 point, no, yeah, 7.2. Oh, this is like a Werder Bremen number. Wow, wow, wow. Or what the Germans would pronounce it, uh, forever vest. Because that's how uh, German people say W. It's nice. I actually really like this one. I'm going to give this a 7.8. Is, you know, oh, yeah, I'm going to go 7.8. I couldn't, if anyone at Western United sees this, please don't send me this kit because legally and morally, I cannot wear a sharp sponsor because they sponsored Manchester United uh, many moons ago. And I refuse to ever use a Manchester United shirt sponsor. I will never use Vodafone. It's complete dog shit, but I will never in a million years use Vodafone or buy a sharp appliance <laughs> apart from a couple knives they're sharp i've been your boy kieran uh there'll be better jokes next week i hope fingers crossed let me just pray to oh which god which god do you want to pray to which one will help me win a game oh oh zeus Come on, Zeus fella. Let's, let's make City win the league and Schalke get promoted. I don't even think that's mathematically feasible at this point. Bye.